guys, Cool Kid Creation 32 here. Uh, I have a little bit of a different video for you guys. Um, a couple of you guys have requested this. I've been waiting a long time for this video. Um, 14 years old now, so I have a little more responsibility. I think. I don't know. So, I'll show you guys what I'm up to. Sorry about that. Um, that right there. Yeah, that's what we're up to. Trapping. It's that time of my life now. So, oh, by the way, I have a music on my tablet over there. So, uh, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit about these, uh, about this trapping stuff. So, there's gonna be some patience here. Alright. First off, we got uh, this groundhog tool. It's very useful. It has a uh, kind of a pickaxe on the front and a hammer on the back. And I don't know if you can see that very well, but right here, it's a uh, you shove it down and you turn it. You shove it in the ground, you turn it and turn it, and then it sticks in there. And you just hit it up against a rock and it gets out. Right here is my uh, balaclava. It's a guide series. It's um, pretty nice. Keeps you warm from the winter hours, like I have. We have right here. We have some uh, tough gear. Uh, knee pads, very helpful for my knees, doesn't hurt them much. Um, these are the gloves that I use whenever I am clearing out dirt or uh, doing the coarse kind of stuff. These are the gloves. <clears throat> these are the gloves that I wear whenever I'm setting the traps because they're leather and they're uh, thicker so they won't hurt as bad hopefully. Um, I have a half a dozen of these. These are T-bar steaks. Uh, you put them through these little trap swivels right here. Uh, you just put them through like that and then you nail it in. You hammer it in with the edge of the groundhog. This is a uh, trapping wax that you can buy. This is a uh, six, uh, four ounce, I think. Four ounce, yeah. Four ounce. Um, I just wax these and uh, I'm going to die them soon. Uh, but I do have a match in there so I can light a fire and start up a boiling water so you can put some uh, wax in there. We have. Right here we have a uh, Black & Decker pair of pliers for adjusting the pan tension on the um, traps. Uh, we have just a regular garden shovel in case I forget my um, uh, in case I forget my groundhog. And to dispatch the animal that's trapped, I have just a little pile of boards right here. Nothing really fancy. This is what I take with me. Um, in my pocket, hold these in my pocket, but I have these in my bag, it's just Remington Center Fire, um, 22 rounds, nothing fancy, just 50, and then two of them, be used over here, because I uh, killed a possum and a rabbit the other day, so that's that. This is, all, all everything on here is what I would carry in my pack with me, um, let's get into lures, and this is Red Fox Pea. A uh, four ounce container of it. You just, it's a, one of those spray bottles. And this is uh, some uh, Terraman Superior um, Coyote Glure. It was six dollars for four ounces. Um, very effective. Coyotes always are near it, but never seem to catch any of them for some reason. Uh, this is uh, some rabbit fur. Uh, the ears are right here. I actually skinned this rabbit myself. It was uh, not too difficult. Um, this is what I use for a visual, and there's still some meat all left down there for a smell bait as well. Um, let's get into this box right here. First off, the box is the actual sifter. You can see in the bottom the sifter. Um, this is a, I've been using this tool for such a long time it's actually started to bend, and I'm kind of sad about it, so I'm gonna have to try to bend it back. But it's just a little pickaxe you can use for uh, practically anything. Uh, this here is my Bear Grylls survival knife. Uh, I understand it's not a very good knife, not the best quality, but it has this little fire steel on it. It's kind of wet right now, so yeah, it still works a little bit. But that's that. That's for another day. Uh, this is my uh, just some center point uh, Winchester uh, 22 air and ammunition, and this right here is what I would use to just pan tension. Just a little Gerber multi tool. You hold the sides right here, and you just Side down. Um, has a couple nice little utilities on it, but what I would use to adjust the tension is this little screwdriver or this little flathead right here, Phillips head right here. I mean flathead, yeah. Right. Duh. Um, yeah. So uh, guys, that's all that I would take with me on my um, 
all that that you see in front of us would fit comfortably in that pack, pack right there, and I would be wearing my um, like a task of boots. They're very, very effective. They come up to the hip. I got some mud on them because I was out checking traps today. No luck, but uh, we actually had one trap that was dug up and flipped over because the coyote is smarter than me because I'm stupid. I was just something wrong. But um, after this, I'm going to do a review on the Duke number no. 2 offset coil spring traps. So, guys, this is uh, JBT signing off with some new trapping supplies. Thanks.